Well, 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 what do we have here? Another Saturday on the Chazowitzka. What's up guys, it's Captain Neil here. We are out today at Chazowitzka just fooling around. Typical fooling around on a Saturday. Uh, no charter today, so we're just gonna play around, try and find some bait, try and see where these big reds are. I was gonna go for trout, but it's a little too windy for my liking, so we're gonna, um, see what we can do. We have a couple of um, Lil Johns. We're gonna try and strike up some bites. We'll try and get on some ladyfish. The ladyfish have been crazy out of Chazowitzka this, this year. Uh, we're gonna go for some of those and uh, try and get some cut bait action going and um, see what happens from there. Might catch our biggest red of our life, might not catch a dang thing. So stick to the action. Guys, we're like, we're growing and subscribers every time I post a video. Gosh, I think we're up to a hundred and, last I checked it was like 130, which is out outrageous. I never would have thought this channel would have got even that many subscribers. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but to me that's, that's a lot. So um, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, join the team, Estuary Adventures. We are, um, we're gonna get this winter season started off right. Um, Got a couple charters lined up for the middle of the month. Uh, plenty of availability, guys, if you're looking to go fishing. I'm gonna run probably the craziest deal of of any, any guide that's ever done any kind of fishing charters. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you know what, let's start it right now. $100 a person, 352-238-9563. You wanna go fishing by yourself, 100 bucks. Do I make money off of that? No, not really. But do you get to go fishing during the holidays? Absolutely. So, $100 a person starting today, up to four people. Um, we're gonna um, get people out fishing. That's the whole goal. It's not about the money for me. It's about the experience. It's about being out here. It's about showing you, showing you a good time. So, um, let's get to the action. Let's try and um, let's try and shoot for some ladyfish. See if we can get some cut bait going. Maybe hang out in a creek or two. See if we can get something to swim by and bite. Tide's coming in. It's gonna be uh, full blown in probably by one o'clock. And um, we have 24% uh, left on the old GoPro here. So uh, we're gonna see what we can do with that. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, Let's get to the action, guys, and let's see what happens, because you never know out in the old Chazowitzka. So, no live bait today. We're gonna see what we can catch. Let's go catch something. All right, right off the bat. Let's throw this little John on this popping cork. See if we can't get something to strike here. The ladyfish usually annihilate these little johns, and um, they usually don't last too long. So we're gonna see if they're hungry today. If not, it might just be an all artificial little john day. So we might be fishing little johns all day today. If I don't catch any bait, then you know what? We're gonna be uh, cruising some canals and we're gonna be um, pretty much just doing what we can here. Oh, we had a strike. Come on back, little buddy. If they're hitting the little John, that means they're hitting the tail. And they just want some action. If they just want some action. I just want some action. We all just want some action, am I right? So here we go. Jig head, nothing on it, just a bare jig head. Let's see what happens. When you get crazy ladyfish, I'm not kidding you, they will hit anything. Even a bare jig head. Casting. 
gotta be around here somewhere. Gotta be around here somewhere. I'm doing is I'm just taking this jig head and I am literally just making it go crazy because that's what they like. They like crazy jig heads, uh, crazy baits, anything that makes a lot of commotion. That's what they want. Let's see if we can get anything off the back here. friends is a ladyfish on a bear jig head. No bait. No lure, no nothing. So now See ladyfish blowing up the top of the water? God, I hope you can hear me. This wind is ripping. You see ladyfish blowing up the top of the water and they're stealing your bait? Go up there, jig head, and you'll get you some bait. Alright, let's go for another one. I can live with two, two ladyfish for bait. Again, bear jig head, no bait, no shrimp, no nothing. So, give them a minute to wear out. So now, as you can see, we've got our two ladyfish, which are going to work out pretty much perfect for um, for using cut bait. Now, um, it is extremely windy out here today, guys. I'd say probably 15 knots plus. So what we're going to do as the tide's coming up, we're going to poke back into one of these canals back here, where only I can get to. and. We're gonna go just post up and wait for some fish to come in the creeks. 
And that's pretty much going to be the game plan today. I'd like to go out into the flats and target some trout and get some trout, but we're just going to get the crap beat out of us if we do that. So we're just going to run out, hit one of these narrow little creeks, just wait for fish to come in. And that's a little boring. Uh, it's, that's just the way it is, you know, sitting, waiting, just waiting for something to swim by and take your bait. But on days like today where you're just going to get the crap beat out of you and it's just going to be a real, I wouldn't say miserable day because there's no real miserable days of fishing. It's just going to be a rough day. So we're going to sit back. We're going to enjoy our, our day out here and we're going to, um, wait for some fish to be hungry for some ladyfish. I think that's, that's the goal. These ladyfish are real oily and real bloody. So you cut one of these bad boys up, you throw it out on a jig head or, or a circle hook or anything you'd, you'd really like to throw out. On real big current days, I like to throw a jig head at least an eighth ounce so it keeps it on the bottom and uh, keeps it stationary for these lazy big reds that come through. These big reds, once this transition comes through, a lot of you guys know that they're not trying to really chase anything. They're just trying to come through, find what they can find, and, and, and eat. So the only downfall of that is our friend Mr. Catfish likes to do the same thing. So good chances of catching catfish doing this method, but really good chances of picking up that big, big redfish that's really lazy, that just scours around as the tide comes in and he gets up in the creek and and yeah that's that's about it so let's um let's get situated here and let's go um poke back in a creek and see what we can find Our first redfish of the day, tiny guy, maybe 12, 13 inches, but the tide has come up, well it's coming up, and we're starting to um, starting to get some feeding fish now, so that's basically how it works with cut bait guys, you have to sit there for 20, 30 minutes and, and let them come on through. If you got nothing going on, then that's... Um, that's what you got to do. So, send them back. And we'll go get another one. <laughs> 